when it comes to technicians, there's two guys that are interchangeable. It's Anderson and Fedor. Those mm. are my two favorite technicians. Anderson fell out of my top because of the steroids. I give him a break on his past performances. I give him a break on the spectacular knockouts, like the Vitor Belfort front kick to the face, choking out Dan Henderson when Dan was dropping bombs out True. people. I give him, I give him a break. But, you know, before his chin went, before the the Weidman fight, when Weidman caught him, Weidman fucking hurt him, dude. He hurt him bad. And if you watch that second fight, it just does not look like he takes the same punch that he did in the first fight. And they're in the clinch. He gets clipped, and he goes down. And I look at him, I go, man, here's a guy who's struggling. Like, this is the end of the career. Look, he's 39. Yeah. This, is, this is how we yeah. look at athletes. Right. You know I mean? This is the reality. of <clears throat> If you're going to be natural, this is the reality of athletes. They get to a certain point, especially after a few knockouts, and they're 39 years old. Like, that's what you're looking at, man. You're looking at the, the deterioration of the master. And at one point in time, Anderson was the fucking master to say anything else. The best I've ever seen. It's ridiculous. He's the best. As Finished far everybody. As, as far as performances, I, I look at the way he put guys away, too, like the Stefan Bonner fight. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. He did it like he's a magician. He, he's standing with his back up against the waved cage. Waved him over. Waved him over. And then when he decides it's time to attack, b crushes him with one um, knee to the solar the plexus. Imagine the confidence you have to have to do that. God. God. Bonner's huge, too. Dumb. Bonner's 6'4", 235. Was on Juice. Bonner yep. tested yeah, positive. He tested yeah. positive yeah. I mean, obviously, <clears throat> Bonner's not the best example. I mean, he's not the best fighter that uh, Anderson, no disrespect, but he's not the best fighter that Anderson's faced. Right. But you look at what he did to Rich Franklin. Rich Franklin's a tough motherfucker, man. Look at Rich Franklin with Chuck Liddell. How about Forrest Griffin? Forrest you Griffin, th right. Yeah. But do you think the, the Rich Franklin that fought Chuck Liddell was better than the Rich Franklin that fought Anderson? Because I don't. No. There's no way. No. So no. the Anderson that fought Rich Franklin, he fought the best Rich Franklin ever and just ran through Dismantled him. Dismantled him Stood, stood in front of him, dropped his hands, and let him throw kicks at him and just died. In a fucking championship fight. <laughs> in a world championship fight. His hands are down. The guy's throwing kicks at his head. It's insane. And he's bobbing and weaving like it's not even happening. So you got Anderson over Fedor. I got Anderson over all. I have Anderson oh, number over one. everyone. Me Always. Too. He's your favorite. He's my number ever. one. Has, Anderson's my has favorite. To, has to be. He's my favorite. Have to be. Who's your favorite? Well, this is just my my opinion. This no is my Gara. opinion. And in that mix, in that mix in of of those great guys, is Anderson and in Fedor. I say Anderson overall, but is energy. I I've I had some fantastic enjoyment watching Fedor fights. Mm -hmm. Like what I'm saying, and what I said about it being possible <clears throat> that someone might have done performance enhancing drugs. It's not an accusation. I'm just highlighting the reality of the environment that they were competing in. That's it. Mm -hmm. As far as my respect for him as an athlete and as a fighter, I'm a huge, huge fan of that guy. I've always been a huge fan. There's a video of me on YouTube with that huge UFC hated because I was talking about what a bad motherfucker he is. This is what he's fighting for the other organization. It's a highlight video of me just ranting about what a bad motherfucker he is. Like, I've always thought he was amazing. I have to be honest. I'm yeah. honest about everything. And right. even if, it's, if it could be possibly perceived to be disrespectful, it's not my intention. My intention is to look at the reality. I don't know whether or not someone took a performance-enhancing drug. I don't know. Right. I have no idea. I could take a wild guess. But it's all bullshit. Unless I see it or unless we know for sure because someone tested positive. Or his traps are ridiculously large. It's, well, even then, there's but some to, dudes to assume, that are just built to a certain assume way. that, though, it's not crazy. No one should write a story about you exactly. assuming that. Exactly. That's like assuming I'm the only one that tans in here. I'm you brown know, as shit. You guys are white. I you know what I'm saying? It's not ridiculous to assume I tan. The thing is, um, with little kids, what's uh, one of the big issues is not even the bone healing uh, that quickly because it heals so quickly. That it, as long as it's set correctly, it heals very quickly. But it's the stiffness. Like, you don't want to lose the range of motion. Yeah. So that's like oh. what my daughter had issues with. She had to go through some range of motion stuff that takes huh. like a couple of weeks before their motion comes back. But you compare it to like the way you would be if you broke your arm at 48. Take a long time. It would take a long fucking time. Yeah. You know, it's, it's yeah. rough, especially if you don't use help, which is one of the reasons why I was willing to forgive Anderson. And I'm not, I'm not forgiving Anderson. He doesn't need my forgiveness. I'm just saying, like, one of the reasons why I go, look, man, I'm, I'm judging the dude before he fought Chris Weidman. I'm judging him up to this point when he's 38 years old and he gets knocked dead by this young stud. I agree. I go, that guy before that is the best ever. Yep. It's, and this the, guy the is The post-fail test, post test is what sucks. I can't, I can't speak about this because I know some shit that I'm not supposed to know or that I'm not, that's not out there yet. And once it does get out there, then we can talk about it. Cool. But the person who told me about it, uh, legit, legit. And we don't have time. We just, this move is on. one thing for sure. For sure. He took some shit. He wasn't supposed to take to make his leg healed for sure. 
can't explain that there's a there's a really goofy explanation for, I'll explain after the show cool but it'll all come out definitely Silva not. at the end of his career definitely did take steroids yeah at the end of it's his career. Also different, and, though. it was when he had a broken leg and he's 39 years old yeah which you you heal slow as fuck and I'm with you I get it's it all, man you yeah, shouldn't but, but, do but, it but, but, it's totally illegal I'm with you I, what I'm saying is when I say Anderson's the best of all time, I'm not taking away his previous accomplishments because he fucked up when he was 39 years old. What I'm saying is, if I look at him in his prime, from Chris Lieben all the way to Vitor Belfort to, to fucking Stefan Bonner, if I look at his fights, Dan Henderson... And we assume he's clean. Uh, we assume he's clean. Right. We, do, we do not know. Okay. okay? We obviously we don't do know. We do not know. We yeah. do not I'm know. not saying he did anything. If he really was clean... I, I give him the benefit of the doubt. He never failed a test, and I say that he was the best ever. So, I so give, Brian I also Williams give had Fedor this one the benefit up. of the doubt. But Fedor has more benefit because Fedor never tested positive. True. Even though he was in a dirty league. I mean, we could call it a dirty league, right? Pride. 100%. 100%, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Amazing fighters. Legit. When we say dirty, we don't mean it disrespectfully. It was no. the, the environment that they were competing in. I say awesome. Okay? <laughs> So Fedor has way more benefit of the doubt because he never tested positive, but yet wasn't even tested until he came to strike. Bro, 